Parents of missing Mexican students CX officials arrest a step toward justice. Mexican officials on Friday made the first high-level arrest in the notorious 2014 disappearance of 43 students, accusing a former top prosecutor of crimes in one of Mexico's worst human rights abuses that current officials have called a state crime. Former Attorney General Jesus Murillo was arrested at his Mexico City home on charges of forced disappearance, torture and obstruction of justice in the abduction and disappearance of the student teachers in the southwest state of Guerrero. When asked about the government's move to scrutinize the past investigation, Murillo said he was pleased and was open to being questioned, local media reported in 2020. Murillo was taken into custody wearing black slacks, his hands folded inside the pockets of a gray jacket, as a law enforcement officer with a rifle slung over his chest stood behind, an image published by local media showed. The Attorney General's office said Murillo cooperated without resistance. The arrest comes a day after Mexico's top human rights official, Alejandro Encinas, called the disappearances a state crime with involvement from local, state and federal officials. What happened? A forced disappearance of the boys that night by government authorities and criminal groups, Encinas told a news conference. Read more. The highest levels of Peña Nieto's administration orchestrated a cover-up, Encinas said, including altering crime scenes and hiding links between authorities and criminals. Murillo took over the IOC Napa case in 2014 and dubbed the government's findings the historical truth. According to that version, a local drug gang mistook the students for members of a rival group, killed them, incinerated their bodies in a dump and tipped the remains into a river. A panel of international experts picked holes in the account, and the United Nations denounced arbitrary detentions and torture during the inquiry. The historical truth eventually became synonymous with the perception of corruption and impunity under Peña Nieto as anger mounted over the lack of answers. Murillo, who had previously been a federal lawmaker and the Hidalgo state governor, resigned in 2015 as criticism mounted over his handling of the case. The lawyer for the parents of the Ayotzi Napa students, Vigil for Rosales, urged the government to make more arrests. There's still a lot left to go before we can think this case has been solved, Rosales told Mexican television.